Today's the day I think I'm going to finally get some paint on this deck on the Gravely Walk Behind tractor. So I've got it pretty much as cleaned up as good as I can get it. I ground down some of the rust here. I could go further, but I don't exactly know. You know, I don't know how thick that spot is, and I don't really want to remove all the rust because then it's going to probably be even thinner than it already is. I kind of went over the whole thing with the wire wheel, and the stuff you see there is actually a combination of simple green and uh, brake clean. But this deck, I mean, it's not perfect. You know, of course, this big patch on the side here. But, I mean, it's this will be our rough cut mower. So, I mean, it's going to get, probably going to get beat up anyway. So, but I've, I went over the whole thing with a wire wheel on my buffer here. Wire wheel on the buffer. Because then it's variable speed. And I've cleaned it up about the best that I can. I stuck a nail, a nail in both sides of the plug here, so hopefully that'll stop the oil from draining out. Just for me laying it over on its side and doing the underside, it's already started to leak out. So, but there doesn't. It, the bottom side is just a little bit wet, so I think it'll hold. I'll we'll just have to check it every time I want to use it, and. I think we're going to probably, I'll do a little, a little bit of last minute cleaning and then, and then we'll probably use the undercoating first and then use the primer on top, or I'm sorry, not undercoating, why do I keep calling it undercoating? The truck bed liner on the bottom and then the primer, Rust-Oleum Rusty Metal Primer on top, so, but that's the plan, even with pressure washing this thing this deck it's since the steel is so rough on it it holds the dirt quite a bit and you, you just have to clean it and clean it and clean it so here I'm just getting the truck bed liner stuff uh, stirred up and putting it on this is obviously the first coat and boy what a difference already just painting it Painting this stuff on I have to say the consistency of this stuff. This is my first time using this and it is actually like thick pudding Spreading it on like you can get get a huge gob of it on a, on the brush and it doesn't really go that far on this deck at least because it's so rough on underneath. Now if you had like a thin or a smooth truck bed then yes it would probably go quite a ways. But being that this deck is so rough underneath it's the, the surface area is much there's much more surface area to cover than uh, there is on a smooth surface. And now, thankfully, my brother came over, and he was a huge help. I could not have flipped this deck without him. And I'm just getting some of my old Rust-Oleum paint. This is like a brand new quart from a couple years ago. And you saw me pull out the paintbrush. There was a big gob on the bottom side of it that was kind of nasty looking. But I was able to stir it all around with the stick there and it seemed to help quite a bit and something that I think is cool about this there's the model number stamped right into the gearbox there and you don't see that on today's new stuff you know this this old mower deck is very cool you know for little things like that that they took a lot of extra time to make the mold to actually stamp in the steel you know what the part was like that you know this is cast and it's just I think it's cool some people probably don't think it's cool but I think it is I've got all the the deck here primed and undercoated at the bottom and it seems to seems to have went pretty good 
I mean, it's definitely not the prettiest thing in the world, but, you know, it'll, it'll work, it'll cut grass, and it should last us for uh, quite a while. It really, really needed painted badly. You know, I don't think there was any paint on this thing whatsoever. But I'm pretty, pretty much done. And I've got to say, this looks, even just with primer, just with primer, this thing looks so much better. And I'm probably, I'm probably putting this on way thicker than what I need to. But that is... That is okay, because I want this deck to last for a very long time, and this, there's no two ways around it, this was pretty neglected, and, I mean, I brought it back a little bit, but, I'm pretty pleased, yeah, pretty pleased, and the other undercoating, or, sorry, not undercoating, the truck bed liner, Seems to have worked good. It filled in a lot of the stuff, and boy, was it uneven in the underneath this thing with all the the rust and stuff, because you know that's where moisture would sit and water would sit. So, but it looks even just with primer and the truck bed liner, it looks pretty nice. Pretty nice. This is coat number two for the truck bed liner. I think two coats will be plenty for this deck. I'm, I was hoping to use this gallon jug here for the big five foot brush hog. I wasn't planning on using it on this, but this was a good trial run for the brush hog. You know, seeing what it's like putting it on and whatnot. So I'm just, you know, going around this thing again, doing a second coat and trying to get any of the spots that I missed the first time and this thing this is gonna prolong the life of this deck uh, quite a while I'm sure a lot of people know this little trick but in the event that you don't if you want to reuse these brushes since this is this is oil based paint and it cleaning this is a pain and what I usually do is after I'm done with it Either I just throw it out and you're not going to get it back again. Or what I do is I take, if I want to use this again, I take a, a Ziploc bag. These were from Dollar Tree. And actually, so were these brushes. And I just Ziploc this back up. And just like that, this will keep for a couple of days like this. Probably three days maybe, maybe four at the most. And then you can come back to this and paint this again if you want so well i hope everyone enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more and hopefully i will see you all in the next one i have another deck to restore also or i guess it's not a restoration but it's it's saving it you know just paint just paint that's all that's all you have to do